So, last week, or maybe two weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, my instructor and I flew the pattern. And originally, I had no idea what the pattern was or what was involved in taking off, landing, flying on each of the legs, etc. So, in this video, I am going to just explain or attempt to explain it. And primarily it'll just be for me to practice it in my head, get just get repetition in, right? Um, so that I can just start memorizing some of this information. But also if someone is interested in learning what the pattern is or what is involved in flying the pattern, hopefully this explanation is helpful. Talking about the pattern. The pattern is basically what you will fly when you are leaving or returning to a, an airport or a, more specifically a runway. Typically, traffic patterns are going to be in the left pattern and they're kind of shaped like a rectangle. Let me explain a little bit more about what each of these legs looks like. There are kind of four legs that you need to remember. The crosswind leg, your downwind leg, your base leg, and your final. Now, there are specific things that you need to memorize on each of these legs regarding how you're controlling the plane. First off, depending on what kind of plane you have, um, I flew a Cessna 172, um, you will need to reach a certain speed, airspeed, before you take off. So, for me, it was about 55 to 60. So once I reach about 55 to 60, I'm going to pull the yoke back and I'm gonna start taking that. You're gonna to wanna to maintain an airspeed of 75 knots and you're gonna be climbing. Once you hit 700 feet, you're gonna take your first left turn onto your crosswind leg of the pattern. You're gonna continue climbing, maintaining about 75 knots until you reach 1,000 feet. Once you reach 1,000 feet, you are going to pull your power back to about 2,100, and you're gonna drop your nose to make sure you are no longer climbing. Around this point, and again, you'll have to use visuals to assess when you need to turn. However, around this point, you're gonna take your next left turn onto your downwind leg. On this leg, you will hold about 90, 85 to 90 knots. Once you are a beam to the numbers, which means your wing is kind of aligned with those numbers on the runway that you're gonna land on, you are gonna do a number of things. You will pull the power back to about 1600, 1700 RPMs, and you're going to maintain about 80 knots. Your airspeed will be about 80 knots. You will put 10 degrees of flaps in, and your plane may or may not have this, but if it does, you will put your carb heat on. All of this happens when you're about a beam with the numbers and forward. Now, when you are about 45 degrees in front of and to the right of the runway, you're going to prepare for your next turn onto your base leg. Once you turn onto your base leg, you are gonna continue descending, but now you are going to maintain about 75 knots and you're gonna put 20 degrees of flaps in. At some point, you're gonna to need to make your last turn and that last turn should get you aligned directly with your runway. That last turn, that last leg is gonna be called your final leg. And on that final leg, depending on the weather, you'll put 30 degrees of flaps in, maintain about 70 to 70 knots, <clears throat> 65 to 70 knots, um, and try to keep yourself aligned with that runway. Now, there's another term which is short final, which is that last few meters away from the one way, and you're gonna wanna maintain about 65 knots there. Now, you're going to land. I'm not gonna get into specifics on that because I'm still trying to figure it out myself. However, when you're flying the pattern, you're gonna do what's called a touch and go, which means you are going to land and then take off immediately, continuing to fly the pattern to get practice. You've landed. There are a couple things you need to do before you can take off in. All flaps need to go up. Your car heat, if it was turned on, needs to be turned off. And you're gonna need to put full power in. Once you do those, 
you will get your speed up until you're about 55 to 60 knots and then you're gonna take off flying the pattern again. One thing that I am not sure about right now, you have to radio communicate on your base leg. My instructor was doing that, thank God, because that would have been just overwhelming for me. But another thing to remember is make sure you're making those radio calls in so that the um, control tower knows what you're planning to do, knows whether you're gonna touch and go or pull stop, etc. cetera. Um, so that's another aspect of flying the pattern that you need to be aware of. That's all I got. That's all I got. Um, hopefully that made sense. Um, again, I'm just trying to practice in my head so that I can get better at it so that I can know immediately, oh, I'm on my downwind leg. I'm a beam with the numbers. I need to pull power back. I need to put 10 degrees of flaps in. I need to maintain 80 degree or 80 knots, etc. I'm just trying to remember it for myself. So hopefully this might be helpful for someone else, but if not, it's helpful for me. So, um, 